Time Crash remains the only time a classic incarnation of the Doctor has returned to the modern era. A year after school reunion, Stephen Moffat took full advantage of Children in Need's request for a Doctor Who minisode as part of their charity telethon to have the classic and modern Doctors collide at last. Time Crash may be less than 10 minutes long, but it manages to hit the right note as a reminder of why fans love classic Doctor Who and multi-Doctor stories. The back and forth between Peter Davison and David Tennant is huge fun, and it still remains the only full appearance by a classic Doctor as their original character. Journeys end, and the end of the time proved modern Doctor Who could now generate its own nostalgia. Series 4 climaxed with the Stolen Earth Journey's End two-parter and assembled several Doctor Who companions like Rose, Mickey, Sarah Jane, K-9, Martha and Jack as a deft way to underline that the stakes were higher than ever. In addition, the following year's The End of Time had to do double duty as both a farewell to the Tenth Doctor and Russell T. Davies, or so we thought at the time. It did so by including cameos from all the Doctor Who companions of the Davies era. Rose, Mickey, Jack, and Martha all appeared during the regenerating Doctor's big goodbye, alongside Sarah Jane and K-9. It was a strong indication at how far the revival had come under Davies's careful eye that it could now back-reference itself and its own characters in such an effectively way. Joe Grant returned for Death of the Doctor. One of the most remarkable feats of Doctor Who's revival has been how much it has embraced its own past, bringing multiple new generations of fans to all eras of the show. There are fewer more powerful signs of that than the Sarah Jane Adventures, a spin-off about one of the 1970s Doctor Who companions, itself bringing back an even earlier companion as a special guest star. The death of the Doctor featured a suspicious Sarah Jane attending the 11th Doctor's alleged funeral and finally meeting her immediate predecessor, Joe Jones, nay Grant, among the mourners. Both Joe and Sarah Jane represent the ideal Doctor Who companion, yet they couldn't be more different. Even working together and sharing their love of the Doctor, the contrast between level-headed, thoughtful Sarah Jane and the emotional, slightly scatty Joe makes the interplay between them a joy and more than enough reason for younger fans to seek out the rest of the Third Doctor era. The 50th anniversary celebrations brought back more former Doctor Who companions and Doctors than ever before. It's incredible to think Doctor Who's 50th anniversary is itself almost 10 years old. These golden celebrations sought to embrace the whole of Doctor Who's legacy, while also summing up the Doctor's fundamental essence. Just one of the ways it did this was by pairing the incumbent Dr. Matt Smith with his predecessor David Tennant for a brilliantly charismatic partnership. Through them and John Hurt's newly created War Doctor, the story explored just how different each Doctor could be, while revealing the core, unchanging essence that made them all the same software, different case. Tom Baker himself one of the definitive classic doctors, even turned up in a cameo as the mysterious curator. In fact, every doctor appeared in some form, thanks to old footage that was incorporated into the Time Lord's War Council. Even the twelfth doctor had a blink-and-you'll-miss-it cameo, and he wasn't even the doctor yet. Tick, yeah.